it's welcome to Over the Hill RV Camping. I'm Rick and Flo's upstairs somewhere. Uh, it's Sunday, the, wow, what is the date today? The 11th. <laughs> Sunday the 11th, we've been back about a week now from our camping trip, which was the video before this one. Um, and I had to do a few more things on the trailer, packing the wheel bearings, which if you want to go anywhere on YouTube, I'll show you how to pack wheel bearings. Um, I might go over a few things on how I measured up the uh, spline and come up with the sizes that I needed to order online. Uh, I bought a new 12 volt pump. I'll go over that because uh, the pump wouldn't pump water. And I'll show you that. And I fixed a leak under the sink inside. So hopefully if I get all that done today uh, on the agenda is to get the wheel bearings both sides done today uh, after because I, I had to wait for the parts and it rained yesterday. Um, we're going to spin this trailer around and open up the awning. We haven't opened up the awning since we've uh, had the camper. And uh, we want to scrub the top of the camper a bit, clean things up, and then open up that awning and see if that what that looks like. Uh, could be a whole bag of worms. I'm not sure. So we'll get to one things first to uh, get the wheel bearings packed. And then after we clean off the camper and open that up a little bit, then I'll work on the inside. And I'll show you what I did to repair uh, the things on the inside and what I did to find out uh, why the pump wouldn't, why the old pump was bad. I, I didn't film it. I was kind of pressed for time. I got a lot of projects coming up this summer. I still have my three or four lawnmowers to sell. I got a kayak from a friend of mine I need to sell. Uh, uh, got to pick up his motorcycle and maybe have that sold to the guy down the street here clean out my garage so I've got uh, my stepdaughter's stuff in here my stuff and stuff on top of stuff <laughs> make room so it's gonna be an interesting day hopefully I get a lot of stuff done alrighty here's the old pump Let's put it next to the new pump the old pump that outlet there went right into this one and then that was the outlet well this new pump is different this is the out and that is the in so I had to run a piece of pipe 3 ace tubing over to this new pump this pump here the old pump which pumps it's just the head doesn't I took it apart and the head doesn't work this one is one gallon per hour this other one here is, uh, I think, a uh, 1.35 gallons per hour. So I marked these wires. That goes to the black wire. The red goes to the black wire, which the red is, well, this wire is kind of brown, but the black brown. And then the black wire goes to the white wire, and then I have that marked as a W. So hopefully I have this pump run correctly. If it doesn't pump up water, then I have it backwards. All right, so let's go up here. We have two different things. One shows the city. This is the way if you have the city water hooked up to it on the hose on all the time. And this one is the tank. So I'm gonna turn this up about halfway. And hopefully that'll help bleed some of the air out of the system. This piece here is a one-way check valve. Uh, I replaced this big thing with this small one right here. That small one, so that's a one-way. So the water will stay up here in the line that goes up to the sink. It'll keep that line full so you don't have to prime it every time you turn it on. So let's see, let's turn the pump on and let's see if this thing will pull some water. Alright. 
cool. Shut that off. Drain this water out of here. Did have some nasty water come out of it. <laughs> kind of blew the line out a little bit. So, turn the water on, shut it off. Water on, shut it off. Yeah, remember to shake to shut this off. I gotta take that aerator out of here. It's awful. It's probably got chunks in it. Oh yeah, it's dirty. So Oh yeah, got all kinds of garbage in it. Oh yeah, let's blow that line out again. Let's put some fresh water in there. There we go. All right. Shut the switch off. All right, everything seemed to work. And leave this sit for a little bit, see if I get any leaks. I got everything tightened up, so let's give it another check. And I'll uh, go inside and clean this aerator out, put it back in there. And then we'll try it again. All right, be back. All right, we're back. No water leaks. Got a little switch here, and we'll turn that on. It's right here under the seat. Now, that just keeps buzzing holding pressure. You have to shut that off when you're done. And then I took this aerator, that other one was junk, took it off my sink downstairs. I can get another one at work, but... Okay. Hey! Let to go get Flo and show her. She'll be happy. she got a sink working again. Alright, I'm going to shut this switch off for now. Go get the boss. Show her the, the sink that's fixed. Alright, we'll be back. Uh, I found another leak. Well, it's under here. It's where that uh, pump is. That little 12 volt pump did have a little bit of a leak. I had to tighten something up. I didn't see the water there until I shined my flashlight in there because I'm half blind. Uh, so we got that fixed. And now I'm going to flip this uh, sink over. And I'm going to show you. Sometimes this leaks a little water in the sink. And I'll show you what I fixed underneath here. That doesn't leak. Alright. This thing was leaking under there when it was flipped up. And it was leaking right here. So when I pulled this, I took this clamp off, pulled that off, and this was loose. So I unscrewed it, put some, you can see I've got some silicone. I put some clear silicone on that. And I put some silicone on this before I slid it together, slid it together, clamped that down, and let it sit for about six hours. And then I tested it, and it worked okay. So uh, that was the other thing I needed to fix was that uh, it was the pump over there underneath that seat and the sink. And then I replaced that aerator. So uh, we're all good. Got the wheel bearings packed today. Got the wheel bearings packed today. Uh, I was going to shoot a video on that, how I measured that axle. I'll have to draw a picture of it. <laughs> I was having a problem with this one side, and I got it together, and then I went over and did the other side. I just, I just wanted to get it done. It's, it's not, it's not a horrible job to do, but when you wake up in a bad mood, <laughs> just everything goes downhill from there. So I. Not in a very good mood today, but uh, I got it together. I did it right. I took my time. Uh, everything is back together. Wheels are on tight. I uh, used uh, 75. It's supposed to be 75 to 85 foot pounds to torque the lug nuts to. I torqued them to uh, 75. So uh, that's about it for now. Flo and I. I'm gonna put everything back together. Put some stuff up, and then we're gonna kind of sit around and look at some stuff here. Uh, we want to close it up, put the top down. Here, I'll show you the uh, awning. Yeah, this is pretty cool. We got the awning out. 
it. <laughs> it took us a while to figure this thing out. Uh, uh, we trying to get the thing slid apart and we weren't doing very well, but you can see up there it's dirty. That's the inside of the cover. And then up there it's a little dirty. I don't know if that's going to come off. Looks like at one time we got a little patch right there. It's duct tape, white duct tape. The door probably slid on that and, and ripped it. So uh, what I'm going to do is put this down and uh, then wash the side. The sides, that's kind of grubby here. Clean the, the roof on this thing really good. Wash it all down. Wash the canvas down. Leave this hang out for a while. Let it dry. And then we'll probably roll it up maybe tomorrow. I don't think it's supposed to rain tonight or anything. So. That's just kind of figuring stuff out as we go along, and uh, we'll get it. We'll get it. We'll get it all done. Uh, all right, we picked up some shelves. Uh, this is that one you already saw me make, or we can put our stuff in or our clothes. And then we just pick this one up here. Stuff on the gusser uh, shelf. Put stuff on. And I've got this little one, we can put our whatever we want in there. And then we pick this up, which is pretty cool. Paid what, like a buck fifty-seven or something for this thing at Savers. Buy a lot of stuff at Savers. Got little handles, you can put all kinds of stuff, take out uh, to uh, cook. And a little thing for putting spices in. And fit right up here on top. And so. So the next thing we'll do is uh, we'll be washing the uh, awning and uh, oh yeah put these noodles there after I whack my face on it. Uh, this is what we had on our tent on the cord so I already planted my face on the side of this walking by it so it just lessens the sting a little bit. Still feel like a fool when you walk into it but it doesn't hurt as bad as getting whacked. So I'll we'll put another one over here. I got a couple noodles up there on the There's one. I don't know where the other one's at. Oh, it must be over the edge. Yeah. So yeah. So we're gonna put all this stuff down and then we'll scrub this up. I think I'm yeah, it's late in the day. I didn't get a chance to set this up. This uh the awning was pretty filthy. It's pretty clean now. Got it nice and clean. We got all the, right here is where the, um, you can put the outdoor grill. I got that in there. And this side here, down up in there, was all greasy. I used Simple Green uh, straight 100% onto a 3M uh, pad. Those kind that you use for your, uh, you know, kitchen sink. Green on one side and sponge on the other. And I put 100% on there and then I just kind of scrubbed it, worked it in until it foamed up. Uh, kind of a white foam and just let it sit on there and let it work but we clean this whole thing with simple green it's great stuff all came out nice and clean this week I'm gonna pop this top off this thing and uh, see how the uh, what the coils look like in here make sure there's no wasp nests in it Take this all apart, and I'll probably take this thing up and scrub it out the, take it up to work, maybe scrub it in the sink. I think it comes apart in two pieces. Uh, other than that, yeah, it came pretty clean. Got some little water sitting up here on the roof, but not too bad. So, a few more things done. I think we just about have everything we need for this for right now. Um, I'm trying to actually think about what we might need yet. Uh, I have to put the floor in. I think the flooring's in straight and some of the cabinet lines in the floor are a little bit crooked. Uh, and uh, I guess it's going to go down. Uh, and then we have to buy that... Um, some of that uh, shiny stuff like what you put inside your uh, 
window in your car to keep the heat out, uh, that reflective stuff to put on the insides here when it gets warm out. There's some more stuff I need to put together. <laughs> All right, this is Rick and Flo's upstairs doing whatever. Uh, catch you later. Bye. Hello, YouTubers. <laughs> Shoot video. Hey, uh, it's, it, uh, it's the 25th, and uh, April 25th, and I'm uh, filming the ending of the one I shot on the 11th, but I wanted to show you some of the stuff that I had in the garage. I was talking about having projects. I've got this lawnmower, these two lawnmowers. And a motorcycle I picked up yesterday. This motorcycle has been sitting for over a year. It's, an, it's a Yamaha FC6. It's a 05. And it's been sitting for a couple years. Um, batteries charged. Turned the key on. And it started right up. That doesn't happen that often. That doesn't happen that often. So here's one of those projects I had that I made. You saw it before and I just cut it out so I just filled it in with uh, some black paint, sanded it down and then shot it with some clear lacquer. Turned out nice. But I wanted to go for a few things on this uh, video. This is the ending of it. Um, again I shot it on the 4th or the 11th of this month. It's the 25th today, and I just got a bunch of stuff uh, trying to get caught up on. So uh, I'm going to be going camping here up in Hillsdale. The next video will be from uh, the 29th to the 3rd. Um, we did buy some stuff for the camper. We'll probably go. That will probably be in the beginning of the next video on the Hillsdale one. But uh, uh, we'll go through that uh, uh, more. On the axle shafts for the trailer, when I did those bearings, um, I measured the axles themselves, and those were just a little bit over an inch, and then I met, measured where the seal went. If you watch any of these videos about packing wheel bearings, you'll see what I want. The shaft is, you know, like a finger, and then there's a little uh, bigger cone on the back of that shaft, and that's where the seal goes. Well, the shaft was a little bit over an inch. I used a, a mic, a micrometer. It's just a little bit over an inch. And then the wheel seal was like an inch and a half. I went on um, Amazon and I was able to find one. The wheel seal came out to be, or the shaft came out to be a 1.063 1 shaft. And then the seal size was a 1.5. Now that's the on the shaft that would be the outside diameter and on the seal that would be the inside diameter so you gotta kinda watch that when you go to get to these parts uh, the carpet I was gonna put in this trailer was gonna be squares but we decided not to put the squares in because uh, Flo put it out put put it uh, asked some questions about what people thought of our putting the squares down and other people have done it they just say they get dirty in between where you stick them together and they're really hard to keep clean and keep brushed out so we picked up a runner from uh, Amazon and we'll be showing that here in the next one uh, I scrubbed the top of that uh, cover for the AC put that back on it wasn't a big deal um, it was clean there wasn't any wasp nest or anything in it, so we're all set on that one. Uh, on the on the little step up runners, on step ups that we get into the bunk with, uh, we're gonna put some of those sticky uh, uh, tiles on those. I have those ordered on Amazon. They might not even be in until after our camping trip. They're talking like May seventh to the fourteenth or something, and. and Sometimes Amazon says that it's going to be a lot longer and it's actually shorter. So hopefully they might come in before we take off on the ne our next trip. So that's about it. Uh, yep, that's all my stuff. So hope you enjoyed this video. Um, got any questions, put them below. Uh, and
and uh, have a good day. Bye.